One Provo woman could be the first female chaplain officially endorsed by the LDS Church. 11 News reporter Brooke Porter tells us how her story began and what this means to her. Did it take you guys to walk over? Tammy Harris grew up watching her dad serve as a chaplain. Years later, he had brain cancer and needed her to fill in for him. When he passed away two days later, she continued his work. And this makes her unique. There's no manual being the first female LDS chaplain in the history of the church. Um, there wasn't a manual, there wasn't anyone to ask, well, sister, you know, how did you do it? How did you start with? The LDS church announced they will now endorse all chaplains, man, woman, military, or non-military. But these changes don't mean that every LDS chaplain will automatically receive endorsement. The church first requires an interview and an application. Harris has started this process. Her work as the chaplain at a school for at-risk teens does not give her the church's priesthood, but she serves as their spiritual advisor. And I think for her it's a life calling. She really wants to help people. While Harris was the first, she says she now sees many more women becoming chaplains. Harris's story caught the attention of many worldwide after she posted an I'm a Mormon profile online the same weekend as the announcement. In Provo, Brooke Porter, 11 News. To see the I'm a Mormon profile that has so many people sharing and resharing Harris's story, go to Brooke's story on our website, 11news.byu.edu. She's placed a link there.